um, we can't always expect the moms to come to us as social service agencies. So moms to be is embedded in the communities. We're in places where moms can walk to us to get healthy food, to get education, and to get social support. I would encourage the task force to take a look at the, at the issue of intervention, particularly in communities of color and, and populations at risk, at a much earlier stage than what we're seeing right now in terms of intervention. Uh, we really need to do a better job of educating the community of the importance of progesterone. Um, if a woman has had a, uh, a preterm birth at the current delivery, uh, we need to do uh, immediate education, saying, you know, if you get pregnant again, uh, these are some things that you need to think about uh, at, your, at, your next, at your next pregnancy. The importance of getting on that hormone so when you deliver again that we can get you closer to full term. We just started it this year, so right now we've given out two per clinic and we have five different clinics that are actually doing it. But it's for each and every mother that actually comes to their four appointments and they also take the education class that we give them on how to keep the baby safe while they're sleeping. So once they do that, then they can go home with the crib. The purpose of that is because we have a really comprehensive approach to the woman's health, and we have a multidisciplinary medical team on board, including four board-certified OBGYNs, nurses, dietitians, and a full-time social worker. So we're really able to address all the needs of the woman right at that mobile unit, and they, put, and they are able to get really good clinical care, but also care for the other aspects of their life, the social determinants that relate to that.